everyone, it's Maki here. Aren't we all excited about the Gundam Seed movie? Today, I thought we'd focus on an interview article published in a recently released weekly magazine in Japan. In it, we have interviews with Mr. Mitsuo Fukudo, the director of the Seed series Mr. Soishiro Hoshi, the voice actor for Kira Yamato, and Ms. Rie Tonaka, the voice actress for Lost Crime. While most of the content relates to memories of past series entries, there are also a few bits that seem to relate to the movie. Let's take a closer look. In Mr. Hoshi's interview, he shared numerous memories from when he was recording past works for the Seed series. Based on the director's intention, it appears that the new script was handed over after each episode's recording was completed. This approach allowed for the advantage of approaching the performance with a fresh feeling along with the character each time. However, it also posed the challenge of limited preparation time, as recalled by Mr. Ho Shi. He also commented on his portrayal of Kiyo Yamato in the movie. When I read the movie's script, there were parts that genuinely shocked me. I feel like I might have misunderstood some aspects of Kiro's character. Myself, I believe you see sides of Kiro that can't be grasped merely by watching Seed or Destiny. In Seed Destiny, Kiro generally gave the impression of being a composed character. He often seemed to act with caution, confronting his own thoughts and beliefs even amidst his uncertainties. This depiction remains consistent even in the latter half of Seed. Might we then expect to see a side of Kiro that contrasts with these characteristics? In the first half of Seed, the anguish of being caught up in a war was portrayed, along with deteriorating relationships with friends. What unseen aspect of Kira will be depicted this time around? To build anticipation for the movie, a remastered versions of Seed and Sea Destiny are being screened in Japanese cinemas. After watching one such event, Director Fukuda commented maybe I could have suffered here a bit more. Reviewing the promotional video footage, there's a scene where a new character, Ophi appears to be holding Lois's hand. Let's also focus on the names like Brad Knight's coat, which seem to suggest their role as adversaries. Upon close observation, the letter A stands alone. This A character is also found in the modern numbers of mobile suits such as Freedom Gunnam Justice Gunnam and their successor units. In the Seed series, this character is a familiar symbol, representing nuclear power. Perhaps, with Lars taken away and exposed to powerful enemy mechs, on Lot's Kira might find himself cornered, triggering a heightened aggressiveness in the storyline. Miss Tanaka, who portrayed Lars crying, shared her impressions of Lars crying after 20 years. Lars embodies the themes of the Seed series. In Seed, she represented the theme of stopping the battle for peace. In Destiny, she took on the symbol of fighting to achieve peace. The director told me he wanted Lars to return to how she was during Seed. In Seed Destiny, Lars was depicted as a strong reader. In the novel version as well, after witnessing Mir's death, she resolves to confront the world rather than escape from it. The loss of Seed also rises with determination and strength. On the other hand, there was also a portrayal of her sharing the sorrow of her father's death and shedding tears in front of Kira. Will the movie depict Lois in her role as a leader? Or will her romantic aspect with Kira be more prominently portrayed. 
If the seed series storyline is heading towards a conclusion, the chances are high that Lars and Kira's romance will be sufficiently depicted. Let's turn our attention to Mr. Fukuda's comments. He spoke about the expression used in the film. In the current era, it seems that people aren't seeking extreme content. There is a conflict in presenting the theme of war as entertainment. However, in the movie, I will depict the theme of war as it is. I challenge the notion, is it right for the trend to exclude extreme content? After all, Manzer and Danny are like junk food. I believe it's not good for adults to fuss over the sweets children eat. Rather, my approach is at your age. Why are you even watching Annie? It's quite a provocative statement. The sentiment of why watch Annie at your age is reminiscent of a similar statement made by Yoshiyuki Tumino, the creator of the original Gunnam. Moreover, during the production of Seed Freedom, the director intentionally did not watch other Gundam works, and naturally he hasn't seen which from Mercury either. It is expected that the film will remain true to the atmosphere of the Seed series. Mr. Fukuda also comments on the theme of the movie in Seed. I said we shouldn't fight. In Destiny, I posed the question, is it wrong to fight? I portrayed themes that directly conflict in these works. For this film, though it might be a potentially misunderstood expression I am making, what I want to see. If I were to explicitly state the theme of the movie, it is do you need a qualification to love someone? Is there something unworthy of love that will never be loved? I depict the qualification to love and the worthiness of being loved. It seems that in the film, Kira will be cornered and love will be depicted as a theme. What does it mean to be something without the value of being loved? In the Seed series, a child who was devalued for having different eye colors was seriously portrayed. Will humans created through genetic manipulation be deemed worthy of love is this the theme that will be explored? It's a tragedy brought about by genetic manipulation technology additionally. The promotional video included footage suggesting the involvement of the Destiny clan. Kira Yamato is an entity known as a super coordinator. Could it be possible that all the individuals of the opposing organization are super coordinators as well? Kira Yamato was 18 years old during Sea Destiny. If nearly 20 years have passed since then, it wouldn't be surprising if the super coordinated technology has been perfected. In the manga Gundam Sea Destiny, the edge, the reason for Kiro's opposition to the Destiny plan, is explained. There might come a time when humans are created with abilities suited for specific roles, and Gilbert Juno demanded. Hero take on the role of the strongest warrior. The Gundam series seldom boils down to a simple narrative of defeating the enemy and ending the story. What if the members of the opposing organization were all super coordinators? It seems fitting, considering Laura appears to be a very young character. The overall impression of the other characters is also quite youthful. Are those created as the ultimate leaders and strongest warriors entities devoid of the emotion called love? Facing such a thing would likely lead to even more challenging situations for Kira. This makes the anticipation for the movie even greater. See you in the next episode of the program.